It's just kind of my entire career flashing before me and knowing how close you are to what I've wanted my entire career. Under it, third two out. Here's an 0-1 to Simeon. In the air to left center field. Gurriel's back. It is gone! Texas on the verge! He's the first pitcher in World Series history with his team facing elimination to take a no-hitter into the seventh. The one-two pitch. Ground ball, base hit left field. Of course it's Corey Seager. It is always Seager. Breaks up the no-hitter to start the seventh. Once we broke open the no-hitter in the shutout, we woke up a little bit. I just remember Gallon just being lights out, and we scratched and clawed just to get one off of him. And once we saw a different pitcher, you know, we kind of relaxed a little bit, saw the ball better, and um, the hits started coming in. Paul Seawald is on the pitch for the Diamondbacks. Josh Young greets him with a bullet into center field on the first pitch that he throws. This is Seawald's first outing since his blown save in game one when Seeger took him deep. Hot shot in the center field. Three consecutive hits in the ninth. The ball gets by. It's all the way to the track. And two runs score. Misplay right there. You know, really got us going, but you know, it, that's why we play nine innings. You know, you never know when the offense will break it open. The air here on Thomas has opened the door for potential big inning for Texas. Looking for the knockout blow. Seawald's a guy I face a lot. You know, he was in Seattle, and I'm just, you know, same plan I always have against him. You know, he's tough, so you got to get him in the strike zone, and he has a good fastball. So you, I was just trying to be on time for his fastball. That's a strike on Simeon. The way he threw his fastball and was pretty aggressive with me. Uh, I think he struck me out on the fastball up and in in that first game. You know, it kind of gave me the confidence to know, hey, I, I'm a good fastball hitter, and if he tries this again, you know, good things might happen for me. Under it, third, two out. Here's an 0-1 to Simeon. In the air to left center field. Gurriel's back. It is gone! Texas on the board! We're playing in Arizona with the roof open, so you know if you hit it right, good chance it's going to get out of there. And it felt good off the bat. One of the best feelings I've ever had. Marcus with five RBIs yesterday, one the day before, coming alive for the Rangers at just the right time. Another magical moment in this magical season. It's just kind of my entire career flashing before me and knowing how close you are to what I've wanted my entire career. You know, once you see a 5 nothing lead in the ninth with the pitching staff that hasn't really given up anything, you know, that's why I felt like we had it.